Hi everyone, it's Melissa Phillips here today with a Makeup Monday for you. Today we're going to be making this card, which is just kind of a for fun card. Um, I'm using some embossing, my impression plate, and some two-step stamping here to give my uh, flowers a couple of different colors. So we'll just go ahead and get started. <clears throat> I first started with just white Stamper Select cardstock that measures 11 by 3 and 3 quarters and I folded that in half and rounded my bottom corners and then I've used the yellow paper from Damask Designs and I've cut that in a strip that measures the length of the card front and that's about one and a quarter inches wide and I'm just going to adhere that right down my the side of my card Okay. Okay, so now what we can do is get started with our stamping. And I've cut a block of white cardstock to fit this other portion of the card. And we're going to stamp on it first, and then we're going to run it through um, with our impression plate, the Pol Polka Dot Basics 2 impression plate. So you can just kind of set your card aside for now. Okay. I used my Mini Bloom stamp set and I kind of want the flowers to flow upwards to this larger flower so I'm going to start in the bottom corner and work upwards. And for this all I've done is use a small bloom and stamp half of it, ink up half of it in melon berry and the other half in hibiscus burst. love how the colors blend. So pretty. And then I've grabbed a larger bloom and I'm going to do the very same thing. Ink up half in hibiscus burst and the other half in melon berry. And then I'm just going to work my way upwards with the images. Okay, <clears throat> and then I want to use the very same effect with the leaves for my flowers. And so I'm going to ink up the top portion of the leaf in limeade ice and the bottom portion of the leaf in harvest gold. See how pretty that is? And then I'm just going to repeat one more time. Bottom half in harvest gold. And the top half in limeade ice. Okay. I like how sometimes the colors blend together, but sometimes you get a separation in there. I just think it looks fun and interesting no matter how it turns out. Okay, then we're going to stamp some solid Harvest Gold Blossoms using a different shaped flower from Mini Blooms. I'm going to start here in the corner, overlap a little bit, and then I'm going to work upwards. One at the top, and then we'll do one right here, kind of off to the side a little bit. And then, let's see. I'm going to use this small, kind of like a frond leaf, or a frond, excuse me, and I'm going to stamp it in harvest gold, just here and there, and just start layering on the colors and the images. And then I'm going to use the larger leaf, just like it, and limeade ice. and work my way upwards. Okay, so all that's left is just adding some color to the center of these harvest gold flowers. 
Okay, so I'm going to use hibiscus burst, and then you can layer on any of the images from Mini Blooms. I've just chosen the three little dotted center. The larger one works fine too. It's whatever you prefer. Gives it some life and some character. I love this color combination. Okay, now our next step is to add our stamping across the top and our sentiment. Okay, so I'm just going to use watermarking across the top. There's not going to be too much for you to see <laughs> this step up here, but it's going to go in the upper left corner. It just allows a surface area for the embossing powder to stick to. Okay, and this is what it looks like with the powder coating the watermark ink, but it hasn't been set yet. Okay, and here is it with the embossing completely heat set. So now what we're ready to do is add our texture with our Polka Dot Basics 2 impression plate. Okay, and here I am with our panel that's been stamped and embossed and run through with our impression plate. So what I'm going to do is just adhere it to this side over here. <clears throat> so our next step is just to finish up the card by stamping our focal point. And for this, I have used the Cutting Garden stamps and coordinating dies. And I used the large and the small flower, the full bloom instead of the side bloom. And what I've done is um, die cut two pieces of the large and the small. We're going to need to stamp these two times. I'm going to ink up the large bloom using Limeade Ice. So Limeade Ice will be on half of the bloom. I'll use Harvest Gold on the other. Line up that stamp and die. And there we have our two blooms. Okay, one blossom and melon berry. And then one blossom and hibiscus burst. Okay, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim each of these in half. You could even cut them into thirds, make as many pieces as you wanted, just for fun. But and I'm going to try that on another card, but for this one I'm just going to cut them in half. Okay. And you can cut them wherever you think the halfway point is. Alright, then what you have to do <laughs> is get everything lined up again. So, after you've found how they line up, like puzzle pieces, go ahead and assemble them back together. Okay. Then, if you want, I've run them through my sewing machine. I love to add stitching to just about all of my projects. I just kind of like the homespun feel that it gives, so I'm going to go ahead and stitch down the seam just with a straight stitch on my sewing machine. Okay, so I've run them both through my sewing machine and then this top layer I went ahead and coated with some um, adhesive spray and then I just coated on or lightly shook on some mica flakes just to give it some shimmer and then just assemble your flower however you want to. Um, 
On this first one, I lined up the seams so that they were even. We can do that again, or we could twist and turn. But before we do that, um, we need to add some leaves. So I used my Lovely Layers die and then just some vintage trim I have. I have wide vintage trim that works so well for adding layers and leaves and things. If you want a different effect, you could just use some Simply Chartreuse or Limeade felt if you wanted. But here is um, my lace die cut using Lovely Layers. And all I'm gonna do is fold it so that it kind of fans out a little bit. And then I'm going to adhere it in the center, make a sandwich out of it. And then we'll go ahead and top it off with our smaller stamped cutting guard image. And I think for this one we'll go ahead and turn it so we can see what it looks like turned. Okay. And then, to finish it off, I have used one of our blossoms that's sold in the boutique. Um, this is from the Pansy Collection. We'll just top it off with that. Grab our card and pop it into place. And then we're, we're done. I can't wait to try this two-tone stamping in some different colors. I think that that'll be fun. Alright, I have it coming off the edge just a little bit. I do like to line up my seams. I just like the symmetry and interest that it brings. Um, but that's it. We are complete. And I hope you'll give this a try. Start mixing in different colors and shades and see what you can create. Thanks so much for stopping by. Happy Monday.